world of YouTube, terrible sight here. And sad news today as you read the title. And um, I literally have to, I had to do a um, video on this because the past couple videos I have done talking about mental health and how people with mental health, it doesn't matter if they're an adult or not, should be more taken care of, more looked at, you know. Um, you have to have more interaction with. And when they decide to take themselves out to do a wandering journey, uh, they definitely really need to be monitored. And that's exactly what happened to this guy. And this is a perfect example of um, what I've been talking about. Mental health. More monitoring. You know, I had a buddy of mine that fell off the edge of the earth. Um, I grew up with him as a kid, but he was way older than me. And it was sad to see him. The last time I seen him, he was drunk. You know, he had some, you know, even though he was, a, you know, an alcoholic, I believe he had a lot of uh, issues, too, throughout life of mental health. But he was one of the most down-to-earth guys, and he, too, went to go live in the woods. And I went to his mother's funeral because she had passed away. I think it was, yeah, in 2019. Shortly after my mother passed away. And I asked the family because I didn't know where he was. And like I said, the last time I seen that guy, I was like, damn, he was living with someone. Someone was driving him around. But I guess whatever happened between them two people, uh, my dear friend and that person must have led him to move into the woods. So he was out there, you know, and... Um, when I asked the family, they just didn't say a word. Like to say, oh man, uh, we're not talking about that. And I'm like, uh, felt kind of awkward, but I mean, hey, it was his mother's. And I think he was very close to his mother too. And I think this is another reason why he must have ended his life. But, um, you know, Taking themselves out from society, taking themselves out in the woods. Yeah, and secluding yourself, just like this guy tried and said he was going to do. Obviously, I mean, he was riding his bicycle, this Hopkin, Hopkinton man. Um, and um, he's got a flat tire, but he literally called his mother and told, and he was 19 years old, mind you. Um if you've been reading this, but, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sucks. It really sucks. And for whatever reason, he was making his way off the bike path. Uh, it is just beyond recognition of what he was thinking at this point. Um, like it says down here, and this is the poor gentleman himself, 19 years old, life ending too soon. And that's the thing with mental health these days. I mean, you can, I would say you just can't go to a therapist. You just can't go to a psychiatrist. And you just can't be pounded down the mouth with meds. You got to literally um, work with someone that has mental health but has more strength than that person to combine each other, to give wisdom to that person. Say so like myself. I mean, I struggle too with all kinds of stuff of mental health. I mean, yeah, there's days I don't want to be here either. There's days I want to get up and walk out the door and just disappear too. I mean, I'll be honest. There's days, these days, I still think, you know, what the hell is life worth fighting for? But, um, hey... It is. You got to. You can never give up. If you got dreams, you got to stick with them and you got to put them in your head. And I can say I'm slowly 
you know, with my YouTube channel slowly getting there, but it's not enough. But I can tell you that people like this need a real person that's down and, you know, but yet fighting with the strength. And they need words of wisdom from that person. Um, and there it says where he says he has some mental health issues. And I can see by the way the guy looks, the picture says a thousand words. I'm about to wonder if he was bullied in school, let alone, you know. Um, you know how people like to judge people, the way they look, the way they act. It's disgusting. It's sick. And don't get me wrong, there are some people out there that, yeah, you need to watch out for. I mean, and it's hard to pinpoint people like this. But... The way this kid seemed to be going and the way, hey, he called his mother up. You know, it w I would assume that he's not one of them mental health people that, you know, would do something to somebody. I mean, obviously, he just looks like the type that society didn't accept him. And, you know, I'd rather go live in the woods and talk like that and... And that's the worst thing you can do as a person is to think, you know, let your mental health take over. You need to listen to someone with the backup of a story or even the, um, you know, the wisdom, like I say, and the strength of a person rather than just say, I'm going for a bike ride today like this kid and I got a flat tire and now I'm just going to get off the bike path and f for whatever reason, I mean, that's not good. I mean, when stuff like this happens, if I was a parent, I'd be saying, hey, you got a flat call, you know, tell me where you are, I'm coming to pick you up. You know, I'm not trying to throw guilt on the parents, but I always make sure you got a flat, you know, if something happens like that, especially if my, one, of my, one of my kids drives, if he needs help, you know, I'll have to get there, help him because them are the vulnerable times that if someone sees this situation, let alone, you know, someone driving by, say so, a serial killer, and sees a vulnerable person there, you know, ain't going to get no help for some time. And there goes that person. I mean, you got to always think the unexpected. You always got to think of things like this. And I do all the time. And I mean, if I was this kid's parent, I'd be like, you got a flat tire. I mean, I got to pick you up, especially the weather conditions. This kid's out riding a bike out here in the freaking snow storm. Whether or not it was the nice day that he was out, right? And then all of a sudden the storm hits. And there you go. He, he could have uh, gotten hypothermia, froze to death, whatever the case may be. Well, whatever, I mean, I'm going to try and keep up with this story to see, right, if he, they, t you know, speak of the cause of death. But if he did literally get stuck out there and... You know, honestly, hey, the kid gets a flat and he don't know. It's just why would he pick to choose to go off bike path and not come home or not even ask for a ride is beyond me. That right there tells me something was functionally wrong and someone should have interacted. I mean, regardless or not, if these kids are, I don't care if they're 25 years old, 30 years old. They got mental issues, they're secluded, or if they're, you know, offset and have said things, you yeah, got to monitor them, you got to stick on them, you got to stay there. I mean, as hard as it is, you can't be there 24-7, but you definitely got to make sure that, you know, you're giving the proper advice. I mean, I'm not saying the family didn't, but and I'm not, like I said, trying to throw guilt, throw blame. But if I was a parent, I would have been on my way to pick this kid up and say, hey, if you got a flat tire, where the hell are you? And unfortunately, now he was found in the woods, in the path, and now he's gone. So 
19 years of nothing. I mean, but I mean, it is got to be ways. I mean, and I know when I sat down with a group full of alcoholics and thinking to myself, oh, well, one day I'm going to have to speak. I mean, I, I sat in a meeting uh, in a gymnasium where we had a meeting. And it was out in Howard Street. The place don't exist no more. But it was, at the time, I, I say a pretty damn good, you know, um, it was a damn good uh, project in rehab, re, 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 yeah, rehabilitation center. And, um, and I mean, this can go both ways. The kids with mental health sit in a meeting, talk with others. And I know when I did my meeting in that gym, everybody was in that meeting. The whole building was in it. And I, you know, I went on to talk the straight ass blunt truth. I slapped everything on the table of what I disliked, how many people have been in here four or five times in jail. And, you know, I talked, I don't even give a shit and talk about people farting. I got to be in a room with a man that farts. About it. Nah, he was sitting right there, too. And, I mean, I said, I don't know how you people do it. I said, this is my first bid. Uh, and, you know, I went on to say some, you know, the brutal truth. Slapped it all out there. And literally, I got a standing ovation from everybody in that building. The AA meeting guys, three of them, three of them standing up front and was like, well, I don't think we can continue with this meeting because this guy just, <laughs> just said it all. And, you know, like I said, I gave the brutal truth. I mean, there was a couple guys in there that I didn't like, and, you know, hey. If they were going to come at me and kick my ass, so be it. But they all got the sense of what I was saying. Like I say, it doesn't matter if it's an AA meeting to a meeting to mental health. I think mental health people should be sat in a room with other mental health patients, let alone like this kid, being rejected, whatever the case may be, and talk. Get it all out. I mean, you just can't bottle up your stuff. Well, my wife right now is going through some stuff. And I keep telling her, you're bottling it up. She don't want to listen to it. But she's bottling it up and she gets aggravated and frustrated with herself because she couldn't say something to the person that she wanted to. And then she comes out with the whole thing. And that's her problem. She can't get it out when she's talking to the person, but lets it all out when she's not in front of the person because, you know, she sits there and her mind's... But right, when you're engaged with someone that you're emotionally angered with, you're not going to get it all out. So I could say mental health people sitting in the room with a therapist asking the same old questions. I mean, my wife's therapist said, you know, oh, I've been working 10 years of a therapist. And, you know, what do you get out of a therapist? I mean, they could throw everything out of the book that they learned in that college degree, master's degree, excuse me, whatever degree they have, but they're not getting out the accurate stuff of a mental health patient because they do not have mental health. They're the ones that try to write, guide you in the right direction, but can't because you got to sit in a room with other people just like I got to sit in a room with a bunch of alcoholics, all in jail, all did stupid things all back again, repeating their lives. And why? In mental health, I suffer from it too. All the symptoms, post-traumatic, the stress, dramatic stress, blah, blah, blah. You know, tortured throughout my life as a child through other people's ignorance. And I find it better to sit with someone and get it out. That, uh, that is, you know, with me, knows me, rather than sitting there with a therapist that just studied a book 
and don't have, you know, the street smarts, as I always say, nor the friggin' mental health smarts. Because I'm learning from this. My kids have it. I've seen other kids that I, I study people. That's what I do. I study the streets. I study the, the brutal truth of the matter. And I learn from it. And I bring forth the meetings to psychiatrists. You know, I bring forth my thoughts, theories, ideas. And they look, and I mean, it's like they look, wow, what? Uh, <laughs> yes, you're right. They agree with me. And um, hmm. it, it's, a, it's a tough and, you know, jagged pill to swallow. But when you got people like this go out on an adventure day and wind up dead, this could have been more done rather than just the standard stuff. So I want to give this kid a moment of silence. Um... Tragedy, just a tragedy. I want to give the family my con true honest condolences. No one should have to lose a child, um, especially ones with the mental health problems not fully developed in the brain. And when they take their problems into their own hands and try to say, hey, I'm going to do this, but they know they physically can't, mentally can't. They mentally can't, but they think they can. He could have been intellectually disabled too. Another thing, my son was misdiagnosed. And um, that's right. When you have that little bit of functioning that's off and you cannot get it, you get angry, you get mad, right? You want to bottle up and leave. You want to get out of town. You're sick of it all. You can't do what you want to do. It's not, you know, it's, it's, it's the fact that you can't do what you want to do, um, but you just can't get it out right. You're not functioning right. And when you get mad... I believe that's what intellectual disable is. Then you get violent. You break things. That's right. Because you know you can, you know you want to do something, but mentally you can't because your brain just don't function right. That's it. That's to me what um, intellectual disableness is. And that's why they, my kid was misdiagnosed because he was misdiagnosed with, um, um, Anger issues, getting violent. So, huh, it's frustrating. It is. I feel as if I have some stuff, but I've always taught myself. I'm self taught on a lot of things. And I didn't learn it from the school. And the school even noticed this. I'm sure they did, but, you know. Other people can't do much, you know, and it's just frustrating. And I'm sure this kid had that too, especially maybe even society pushing him to the side. So, to that next video, if you got any mental health problems, do not take it into your own hands. Talk to someone, family members, they're going to have to do something. You got to get them to do something for you. I'm sure they can level you out and help you out. Don't ever leave the house. Don't ever, you know, take on if you're going to, like this kid, go ride a bike and just say, hey, I'm going off trail and I'm going to do this and get the hell back home. Jesus, whatever you're doing, get the proper help. To the next video, man. Just sad stories. Just sad out.